This is the Ford Michigan Proving Ground. Over 3,500 acres of every conceivable torture test a vehicle can go through. To make sure the Ford Police Interceptor stands up to whatever punishment it has to face, we put it through its paces. We have tested the vehicle to extremes. We've had it in the snow. We've had it in the pavement. We've had the vehicle tested under very abusive situations. In those situations, we've designed the vehicle so that it stays durable, it stays functioning, and it brings the officer home. This vehicle has gone through our durability cycle above and beyond what the Crown Vic has gone through as a police interceptor. Your main concern is trying to be safe so you get to go home at night. When you're trying to drive fast, keep control of the vehicle and stay on task. We beat the heck out of these cars. It's not an enjoyable drive. If we can get there safely and quickly at the same time, I mean, that, that's a bonus all the way around. There's no way you could replace this with a Taurus vehicle with all the extra enhancements from the ground up, including body structure, powertrain, suspension, electronics. The whole vehicle is unique. We're controlling torque to the rear through the rear drive line. The power transfer units are tucked up in the car and they're not hanging down. The components are well protected from any kind of damage. So it's neat that they thought about that from the very beginning to start it from the wheels up as a police-specific car. I think this could be a game changer. 